Imagine for a moment that you go to a garage sale or a yard sale or maybe an antique shop or uh, the swap meet uh, and you find a, a silver teapot that really, really attracts your attention and so you buy it and when you get home you take out the silver polish and start polishing away and poof, a genie comes out <laughs> and offers to grant three wishes. What would you wish for? In today's first reading, we hear the story of Solomon's dream in which the Lord appears to him and offers to grant whatever Solomon asks. What does Solomon ask for? Money, power, fame? No. Solomon says, give your servant an understanding heart to judge your people and to distinguish right from wrong. How pleased the Lord was with Solomon's response. He was so pleased that he granted Solomon a wisdom and understanding that would never be surpassed. If the Lord came to us in a dream and offered to grant our request, how would we respond? Would our request reflect our true values? Would our request please the Lord? Would we ask for an understanding heart? And by the way, another translation of that word understanding is listening, a listening heart. How wonderful it would be if more of us listened with our hearts and not just our ears. The gospel today is a series of parables meant to teach us about the importance of God's kingdom. The brief examples Jesus gives help us reflect on our own priorities in life. Is the kingdom of God for us like a buried treasure or a valuable pearl? Are we ready to give up everything to be a part of God's kingdom? These simple examples are tremendous challenges. Jesus is telling us that nothing in the world may take priority over God's kingdom and our pursuit of that kingdom. What counts when we die is not what we have acquired in life, but what we have done with our life, what we have become. Remember the old saying, as you live, so shall you die. We are important not because of our material possessions or our uh, position in life, or who we know, or what influence we exert, but because of who we are as children of God. <clears throat> if God were to come to us in a dream and ask us what we want, I hope we could say, help me to love more, to listen more with my heart, to forgive easily, to assist those in need, to encourage and console the broken. Help me to see the value in turning the other cheek and walking the extra mile. Help me to live my faith in everything I do, Lord. God would be very pleased with a request like that. He would know that we value his kingdom above everything else and that we are doing our best to be a part of it and to build up God's kingdom right here on earth. We are challenged then by the readings today to do some thinking this week. Where does our treasure lie? Do we put our energy into rubbing a silver teapot in hopes that a genie will pop out and grant us three wishes? Or do we put our energy into prayer, into love and concern for others? I suggest we look around at what we own and ask ourselves, can I, can I get along without that? Is my life revolving around things? I suggest we examine what we do with our time and our energy and ask ourselves, is the way I treat that person really Christian, really loving? Am I aware that the only treasure that will really satisfy me is Jesus himself? Am I using the time and energy God has given me in a way that builds up God's kingdom. 
God's kingdom is a precious thing. He never wants us to forget that. But he also doesn't want us to forget that we play a critical role in bringing about that kingdom here on earth. Each time we say the Our Father, we say these words, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Let's be sure not to hear those words simply as a plea to God, but also as a challenge to and a promise from us to not let our God-given potential go to waste. Rather, let's combine the good in us with a sincere heart and a willingness to do whatever it takes to make the kingdom more visible each and every day. I hope and pray that we can all accept Jesus' challenge to get our priorities right, to channel our energies in the right direction. Then we can stop rubbing that silver teapot and instead listen to God in prayer and hear God granting us the most precious gift of all, eternal life.